It occurred to me uh, a couple of days ago, you haven't had a video on here for such a long time, I'm just about to damp stretch this and this is an exercise in why I don't throw cloth away. This is a, quite a small piece of cloth, it's only five inches wide so possibly wouldn't be much use for anything else but because it's quite long I've been able to get some cross stitch on here that I'll use to cut up and put in my work. So just to like show you what I mean by that, on this piece this is cross stitch that I did before that I cut up and I've used for a padded applique and here I've made tabs with cross stitch that I made exactly the same way as this in fact this is a piece that I'm cutting from at the minute so it's the cross stitch cloth damp stretched and then I just cut it up and use it in my work and it kind of gives a, a unique um, surface to your work if you make your own cloth to put on there because it's not something that's commercially available and lots of people might have it in their work so this is a way of getting your own stamp on your work in an even bigger way really um, so yeah some tabs there and again over here some more padded applique and normal applique here so you know it is really really useful to do that to take some time some here and a bit of cut work to take some time and I mean it did take quite a long time to do this I would say four hours maybe even a bit more because I did it over two evenings um, but it's so worth it because that gives you a stock of unique cloth to use in your work so I'm gonna damp stretch it and I don't know if I'll keep the video on for the full damp stretching process because um, <clears throat> it might take me a while it's very boring for you and I think somewhere on YouTube get my pins out somewhere on YouTube there is a video that I did on damp stretching so you know you could find it there but this board I'm using is one my dad made for me because cork boards seem to be getting harder and harder to find and if you do find them some of them these days because of the quality I'm assuming anyway I don't know for a fact but I'm assuming that because of the quality of the cork that's in them ie good quality they bleed into your work and it's the natural oil in the cork, I think, that's bleeding into your work. So my dad made this for just some cork floor tiles. Uh, he glued them to a hardwood base and they didn't need varnishing or anything because they're sealed. So, you know, it's really good and it doesn't bleed. This is a small one. I've got a massive one he made me ages ago that actually opens out. It's in got hinges in the center and it opens out and goes on the floor so if I've got any huge pieces of work I use that so I'm gonna damp stretch this and then I'll put it away carefully where I've got some other stuff like this to keep when I want something a little bit unique to put on the surface of my work that I don't want to be just like plain white or commercially produced I'll have this so you just my pins out of the pot so that's it and so damn stretch it and it's afternoon now normally I do it before I go to bed and leave it till the morning but I'll do this on here now and I'll still leave it till the morning because I won't need this board again and I have got another board anyway so well, I've got one two I've got three boards so I'm not usually struggling to find a board you know to stretch on the only thing about these tiles is it can be quite hard to push the uh, things in but you just got to be masterful and go for it. It doesn't hurt my fingers or anything, it's just more difficult to get them in than in the cork bath mat. But I'm not going to criticise because he made it and if I criticise him, like, I'm not making another one, make your own. No, he wouldn't actually because he likes, gives him something to do, keeps him out of trouble. So I've nearly done it now, so I might just keep going till, I, till it's all done and then I can squirt it and then I can turn the video off. But I just wanted to make a little video to show you about part of what I do to get so that my work is more my work than it would be if I was buying shop bought fabric, you know, in terms of you can see the difference by using fabric that I've embroidered myself as an embellishment on there so stretch this and it's all stretching out now it's lovely I love watching it when it pulls out all those imperfections and hopefully tomorrow morning when I take this off the board it, I'll get some nice pictures of this little bit of cross stitch fabric
Um, it's nice, I like making my own fabric. It's kind of like me giving a little bit more to the work than usual. Makes me feel happier about things. So just two more pins. I'm a bit, <coughs> got a bit of a cold and I'm struggling to breathe, which is pretty essential really, isn't it? You gotta be able to breathe. But uh, I keep sniffing, I'm sorry about that. So that's it, one last pin. So I'll put these ones away. And then I'll just squirt this and leave it until tomorrow. And like I say, hopefully I'll get some nice pictures of that tomorrow. Just check it's wet and that's it.